Hey there. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the Pulp Logic Express pedal tile Eurorack expression pedal interface for your Eurorack modules, the Pulp Logic Express. So, this is a very simple module. You get CV out, you put your pedal in. So, what you need an expression pedal like this. Uh, this is the Moog EP3. They recommend a EP2 or a Moog EP3 expression pedal. So I got an EP3 here and it's a pretty simple little expression pedal. It's got a nice little attenuator on there and some other little options. But uh, yeah, you're gonna need an expression pedal here. You're also gonna need the module. But uh, one thing, note that this is not your standard Eurorack um, power supply. And so this actually threw me off. I ordered the module and I didn't read the manual before I got the module. And so I got this and was like, what the heck is this little thing? And so um, Pulp Logic and I think some others use this thing called uh, Tile Power, which is basically for really small utility modules that don't need a full Euro rack power. And so you're gonna need to get this adapter here. Um, and I'll show some uh, screenshot here of the adapter that you can kind of see. And it's a pretty simple, low cost thing. You can get it from Perfect Circuit. You can also get one directly from Pulp Logic. And uh, what you basically do is uh, you'll see I have these things kind of shoved out of the top of my system here. It's already plugged in in the back. And you're going to go plug in. You're just going to match up black to black, red to red, and white to white. And if you try to do it backwards, well, it doesn't fit. So you plug that in there, and that is how you get your power to your Pulp Logic Express. All right, so I just got the Pulp Logic Express um, installed here. One thing I will say about the install is uh, these guys are super small. Give you context when you order from them, you're ordering from an Etsy shop. Uh, so they don't actually have an actual like e-commerce storefront for their site. So super small, really DIY. And one thing I'll say with this IntelliGel case, the panel doesn't totally fit quite properly. It's kind of a little oversized. So I had to kind of use one of my longer screws to get it in there. And I got one screw in and called that a win. So uh, not gonna fit your case probably the most nicely. Don't try to cram this into some HP. You might need a little extra space, but hey, what it does and the function is really cool, and this thing costs like $25. So uh, really inexpensive, really low-cost way to get an expression pedal in your setup. All right, so hook this thing up. Simply, I'm going to put the expression pedal output there. And uh, one thing I do need to note, and this uh, threw me off here, but uh, Pulp Logic was nice enough to email me. You need a TRS cable for this. So note how this has two um, black lines here. That means it's TRS, which stands for tip ring sleeve. And uh, so if you have a standard guitar cable, that will not work. Um, but you're gonna take that TRS cable and plug that into my back of my Moog EP3. And there you go. Other expression pedals may work, but they are calibrated for the Moog EP3 and EP2. So just for clarity here again, on my right side, you got tip ring TRS tip ring sleeves. You got the two black lines. Standard guitar cable will have one um, basically, this means it's essentially a stereo or a balance line. This is a mono unbalanced signal, and to for an expression pedal to work, you need TRS. So go pick one of these up. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, not too expensive, but that'll be one other thing you need. All right, so I've got a really simple patch here. There's a lot of cables going on. Um, I'm going to use that a little bit later on when I actually kind of jam out and show you this thing. Uh, but really, all I'm doing is running the output of the Express to the pitch of the Dope for A110-1 VCO. And so uh, I'm actually gonna hold the expression pedal on screen here and show you just uh, what this thing can do. I think one of the important things to know and understand about expression pedals is that they don't actually do anything to your sound. All they are doing is sending a signal that controls another parameter. So there is no effect at all happening from this Moog EP3. It is just sending a signal to there and I'm sending a positive and negative CV signal um, that basically is going to raise that pitch and lower that pitch. So um, again, this doesn't actually do anything other than send a signal. And as you see, we're gonna now route that to a filter here in the next effect. 
um, and I'll show you a bit what that looks like. I actually now load this into the WMD Trash Master and uh, we can get some really cool kind of wah guitar effects going on with this one. So uh, yeah, really excited for this one. I think you'll enjoy it. As you can see there, pretty darn cool what you can do with it. So I think, yeah, filter controls, you can use this really to control any parameter in your whole setup there. Um, that is what is really cool about this. The other thing I want to say, this whole thing costs less than $100. So this was about $25 um, for the actual uh, module here. I think it was like $16 for the power cable. Um, I think I spent about $50 on the Moog EP3 and then um, the TRS cable, which was like $10. So like all in $100 and you can control your modular with your foot. Not a shabby investment if you're asking me on that standpoint. So to summarize, freaking love this thing. It's awesome, it's super cool, I'm glad I got it. Uh, only complaint would be that it doesn't quite fit the IntelliJ cases super well, but other than that, uh, go pick yourself up a Pulp Logic Express. Uh, you will enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>